check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's going on? A little, a little curious not to know. So I'm going to talk about this uh, documentary. You can watch it on the Peacock app. It's called The Murder of Gabby Pito, The Truth, Lies, and Social Media. It came out in uh, 2021. So everybody knows the story about Gabby and her, um, I, I think, fiance or boyfriend, Brian Laundry, and try to story what happens at the end of their venture. So there's like different parts of this documentary. The majority of the part is the life of Gabby and her relationship with her, you know, fiance, uh, Brian Laundry, And basically they explain who she was as a child. It was kind of interesting that her uh, her step uh, parents loved her like a daughter, and there was a good relationship between uh, her uh, parents. That relationship didn't work out, but they still had a tight relationship, and you could feel there was love in this uh, family. So the first part of the documentary is mostly the interview is with her uh, parents. You know, you know different stages of her life. And, you know, she was an artist. She was really curious, open-minded, friendly. And also, they talk about her relationship with Brian. And, but they, they don't go too deep in it. They just know what they, they've seen personally. But the only time they kind of talk about Brian was uh, the interview of some of her friends that kind of knew him. And they kind of explained that he was kind of controlling or overprotective over her. And some of his artwork was kind of dark. But they saw each other kind of like an art kind of couple. And she had this dream of, you know, saving money, getting a van, and, you know, traveling to the United States. And, you know, every majority of people in their early 20s have that fantasy of, you know, traveling around before they get old. And some, unfortunately, a lot of people wait to get old and do this. So it took a lot of guts for her to do this, something she never tried before. You know, also they talk about different stages of her life, you know, her growing up as an adult, how she moved with uh, Brian to her fam to his family in Florida, but they don't get in too deep in it because Brian's fan refused to be in this interview, you know, doing kind of interview in this documentary, so we, we don't know anything about their relationship while they're in Florida, but but they also they talk about her trips, what she posted on Instagram, on YouTube. And it looks like they're having a good old time, but there's maybe a little dark secret going on between both of them or something. And so until that one day, um, they call up by the cops of uh, somebody witnessed Brian, you know, hanging around on the face. And it goes from the interview with the family. The next step was the, the people involved, the justice, you know, telling their, their side of it and you know how they knew how she was you know personally her last days of living and he got these um i guess social police or something they kind of tell their side but the problem is like you know with these social media people they uh it's all hey say what's going on most time i, I do a story like this i wait maybe a year after all thing goes down and i the facts, but the problem with social media now they just say whatever they want and they really know the, the facts of the story. But it's a really attractive story of a lady who um, just wanted to do something and it took a lot to get to do. And unfortunately, um, they, it ended up the way they did. But in the documentary, we, we don't learn too much about Brian and who he was. And also, I believe that Brian's parents did cover it up a lot of things, and they may get in trouble doing this. But it was very much mysterious of him bringing back the the vehicle back to Florida without her. So there was only thing he really was charged for was um, using her her uh, ATM card or debit card. Well, you know, probably well, Gabby's commission to use those cards. And, but later on, we found out that he did murder because when they found his body in the Mars in Florida, he did admit that he did kill and made the guilt finally got to him. And I wish that his parents kind of told him, you know, do the right thing. But unfortunately, we'll never know. So there's a lot of facts that we don't know. 
it, it's going to be um, until the Brian's parents get charged of something, and then we'll learn more of the facts. But right now, a lot of he's you know a lot of stuff we don't know about. Unfortunately, once again, you know, young girl, young lady got killed. You know, trying to have her dreams come true and travel at a young age. But that's all I say about that. But you know, let me know if you've seen this documentary and uh, maybe do better next time. Thanks for watching.